Hello, this is Toby from Technocamps, and today I'm going to show you how to export your animations from Adobe Animate and get those into Adobe Dreamweaver as part of the WJC digital technology spec. First thing you're going to want to do is go to File in the top left and make your way down to Publish Settings. The settings you will want to select are Center Stage, make responsive and export image assets as image assets. It, it may be set as texture initially, so make sure you set that as image assets. And lastly, in under image settings, make sure that says image assets as well. Once you have set those settings, make sure you set the destination of your file uh, to somewhere you know. I've gone for the site folder of my Dreamweaver website. Once you've got that, you'll also want to do the same thing with this OAM package. Click that, go to the output name and set a uh, location for that one. So just to explain what this is, there's a few different ways we can import our animation into Dreamweaver. There is using JavaScript and HTML. That way is quite complicated. So I wouldn't recommend it unless WJC specifically say that's what they want. And to the best of my knowledge, that is not the case as it stands. I would recommend using this OAM package. There is a specific component in Dreamweaver that we can use to import OAM files. And that will get our website with our animation exactly as you would expect all the buttons working so i would strongly recommend using this one but again we're going to need to make sure we set that uh, output to somewhere that we know once you have done all of that you can publish and from there we're going to need to go over to dreamweaver so what i've got here is a fresh new dreamweaver site um, all I've done is give it a name, saved it as page one. Other than that, it's completely fresh. The first thing I'm going to need to do is go to my insert HTML components and then make my way down the list to animated composition. Giving that a double click, it will open up my files and it's gone straight into my site files, which conveniently is where I've saved my OAM. If I click that and then open, it will drop my animation onto the web page. It's slightly too big right now. So I'm just going to go into the split view and shrink it down slightly. There we are. That's much better. So that's really all there is to it. The last bit of information I will leave you with before I end the video, back in Animate, WJC want students to use HTML5 Canvas as the platform type. So if any students have used ActionScript 3.0, they're going to want to convert their animations over. Now, that's not a complete disaster because all they need to do is go to File, Convert To, and then instead of ActionScript 3.0, it will say HTML5 Canvas there. If they give that a click, it will take a few seconds and then it will spit out the animation in the correct format. There may be some differences. Some things may have broken in the animation, uh, particularly if they've used a lot of color effects, but that shouldn't be too complicated to fix. Um, if they have done their animation in ActionScript 3.0 it is not the end of the world by any means. This has been Toby from Technocamps. This video is part of a short series on some of those trickier parts of the digital technology spec. So hopefully you found this helpful. Goodbye.